734 right now. The Barbers Point Flight School is seeing an increase of students with an ongoing worker shortage in the airline industry. Dallas on Tavares joins us from Coppola with all the details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine Ross. Yes, we're out here at Barbers Point Flight School to learn about the future pilots of tomorrow. And here joining us on Wake Up Today, we have our friend Nathan, who is a flight instructor here at Barbers Point Flight School. Good morning, Nathan. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I mean, we've been learning so much about the industry, all the different services that the school has to offer. But for you, how's it like to just see that excitement and that interest because of the shortage that we're experiencing right now? Uh, working with new students is very exciting from seeing their excitement as they learn one thing to the next and watching them progress. It also takes us back to when we were students ourselves and uh, just seeing, yeah, every, everybody that's up and coming in the industry. And you know, that's a good point. Not only are you teaching, but you're also learning from your students as well as um, the people who have taught you yourself. What made you want to get into the industry? You, you know, it, <laughs> my, my story is probably similar to many others. I was worked construction for many years and uh, a guy I worked with who's now a captain of Hawaiian got me into it and I just as soon as I took my first flight which was incidentally an intro flight here at Barbers Point as, as soon as we got in the air I fell in love with it. Wow and that's such a good story too because it really gives people an idea that there are possibilities in this industry and to step out a little bit but as far as where we're at right now what's this area called? This is just the parking area as you can see all the planes uh, some privately owned some of our our own planes are here. And then what's the purpose on bringing your students out here to get up and close and personal with the aircrafts? Well, before we do any flight, we do a pre-flight, which is a series of checks of the control surfaces, the engine, uh, the fuel, oil, things like that. And then from the pre-flight, we do a run-up in the run-up area over here. And then at that point, we get weather from what's called ATIS and then uh, get released from ground to taxi to take off. And that's when we talk to tower and we begin our flight at that point. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look inside really quick over here. I'm going to duck my head because I just hit my head on this wing a little bit earlier during the commercial break. But, Nathan, as far as what we're seeing from this point of view, is there anything different from the simulator that we saw in the last hour? Uh, this is the same G1000 setup that we do have in the simulator. The only difference is, is there you get to control the weather as to what you are going to fly in, what conditions you're going to fly in. But as far as the approaches and procedures and things, know that the systems are identical. A nice feature of this is we also can see live traffic where other planes are in relation to us, uh, their altitude, their heading, things like that. And as far as the solo flights go, how often does that happen with your students? Well, every student in the, in the course of their training does have to solo and do a series of solo flights. Uh, before you get your certificate, we, we as instructors have to know that they can so, you know, manipulate the aircraft solo. And uh, that, depending on the student, is usually about midway through their training where they'll start with a solo flight here locally and then to do some solo flights between here in Molokai, here in Lanai or Maui. All right, well, very interesting. Enough legroom in there? Uh, yeah, we've got some students that are <laughs> six foot four, and we've got some that are about five foot even. So there's there's plenty of room. The seats go back and forth. Nice, <laughs> yeah. Such a tight space, but you're going to learn so much with this experience. So thank you so much, Nathan, for your time. And it's been such a pleasure here at Barbers Point Flight School. And if you all are interested in being a part of any of the programs here and learning about the different certifications and all the skills involved, you can visit our website at kh12.com. Reporting over here in Coppola, Dallas Navarro's KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Very interesting. It could be a great career. Yep. Over on Maui, they're celebrating National Parks and Recreation Month with some great activities. Jack Gist from KY Radio Group has more on that. Morning, Jack. Good morning, Ann.